we are going to have a look at one of my favorite specy games from uh, back in the day. Wheelie, published and developed by Microsphere in uh, 1983. Now I got this one in a compilation. 10 mega hits published by Bioli in 1985. It consisted mostly of older games, but I was super happy getting 10 games at a very decent price. Especially since it did contain a couple of really good ones like Wheelie, Psytron and 3D Star Strike, but of course also some stinkers like Blade Alley and The Fall Guy. The developer Microsphere consisted of David Rady and his wife Helen. The company was started up already in 1982 and was initially a subcontractor for hardware manufacturers, but quickly turned towards software development for the ZX Spectrum. Their first releases were the train game and Omnicalc. David was responsible for the coding, which he did without using an assembler. He would just write down the code on paper and then Helen would type it into the Spectrum. Pretty hardcore. When Wheelie was released, the reception was initially quite slow, but it sold steadily for over 12 months and also saw several budget releases. And of course, Microsphere was also responsible for two absolute Spectrum classics, School Days and Back to School. And at this point, they had started working with artist Keith Warrington, who created the in-game graphics and also the promotional art. Apparently, he was involved with Wheelie as well, but seems to only have done the cover artwork here. But enough said, let's dive in. And the loading screen is basically just a screenshot, so not terribly interesting. So here we are, welcome to the world of Wheelie. And the menu is a bit weird, but let's just, uh, let's see, let's press the bottom row to play. And we've got level codes, so uh, that's kind of nice. I don't remember any, so we're just going to go with level one. And here we are. Driving a motorcycle. Let's go to the left and just find out what's here. Dead end, yes, exactly what I expected. So this is uh, basically you driving around in the cave system with a motorcycle, avoiding awful enemies such as bouncing hedgehogs. And I think that map generation is random. It will look different each time you play, but I think there are certain aspects that are the same. I I'm not sure. But as you can see, when I'm down there is one of those evil hedgehogs, and they're absolutely ginormous. And we also need to get hold of gas, because we are cooking with gas, apparently. And there are also other things, such as uh, ice, which is uh, very cleverly denoted by just having some text. And yeah, I was driving a little bit too fast, and then we get that nice crash. And, and the crashing in the game <laughs> is really rather cool. And I don't think I should accelerate here either, because that's bad news. Nor should we go too fast down a, a slope. That's also bad news. So, um, lots of things that can annihilate me. Let's just see what happens when I hit a hedgehog. Because I remember the sound effects in this game being a little bit annoying, but also kind of cool. Let's hit the hedgehog. Yeah, ambulance sound. And once we hit a hedgehog, it will disappear. So that's kind of neat. And I do believe there's also stuff we can collect, like tires. I think we saw one down here, but now it's gone. And we can jump buses. We need to have a certain speed for that, otherwise we will crash spectacularly again. And we need to deal with these things. But let's just restart and get some new lives, because now I've shown you the, the cool depths. And yeah, that bit when you fly off the motorcycle, that is pretty damn cool. I was pretty impressed by this. Okay, let's try this for realsies. And we also got a freeze function, by the way, that we can freeze the enemies with. Uh, I think that will cost fuel or, or something. I don't quite remember. This is probably not the right way to go, right? Uh, yeah, let's find out what's here. Maybe there's something amazing, like gas. Okay, we can go down this way. We don't don't need to jump any stinking double-deckers. So let's see if we can get past... No, okay. Get past the evil hedgehog. These guys are not to be messed around with. Should I go get the gas? I think I should. This is the only annoying bit that I remember of, with the game, that when you go, oh shit. When you turn around, you kind of move a bit a bit further than you normally would. It's kind of annoying, but it's not terribly bad. Let's go and see if we can get, grab the gas. And as you can see, the uh, levels are randomly put together. It's basically different sections that are just pieced together, so it's not completely random predefined sections and let's okay let's go up there 
and you start recognizing these as you go and what you need to do in the game is you need to find the ghost rider and challenge him to a race back through the cave system and I remember the first time I got that to happen I was pretty impressed and it, it's not really that hard I was just a, a little bit uh, you know not as not terribly good at the game so I was really impressed that, that I managed to find the uh, the ghost rider and beat him then of course you get to play another stage and here we can do a wheelie to uh, grab the tires that float around and get points but who cares about points I care about devastating the ghost rider and this was just a lot of fun back in the day I have to say let's go past the evil hedgehog please don't have me oh bollocks I need to go up I knew it why okay I need to go quite far here oh you bastard hedgehog I should have used my priest there <laughs> I should have known that the game was going to screw me over here, so I should have gone up directly. But let's carry on into the cave system and let's jump some buses because that's funsies. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. This was a lot of fun back in the day. It may not look like uh, much today, but it really was a lot of fun in all its simplicity. And where did the tires go? And now there's hedgehogs here. Re ah, oh, you filthy hedgehog bastard. And the tires are now gone and there's now there's cars to jump over. Nice with some variation. Do we need fuel? I think we kind of do. So let's go back up or go up here. And of course the faster we drive and the more we accelerate the more fuel we will uh, spend or gas and I just love these little bits where you had to do a wheelie to jump over the uh, obstacles there oh come on I, uh, I kind of wish you would have a number on the miles per hour instead of this just bar and I don't think there's a time limit in the game it's just uh, the fuel that you need to keep track of really and the graphics do look pretty rough. They haven't aged terribly well, but the game is still kind of fun, I must say. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, I, I actually hadn't expected this to have aged particularly well. And God flipping damn it, yeah. I was looking at the uh, my MPH bar there, and of course I still don't get it right. Oh uh, yeah, it's a bit tricky, but hey. This should be fine, right? And we could almost got a tire as well, but not quite. We can't go too faster because then we can't do a wheelie. And we want to do that, otherwise... I'm going to crash again! Let's go up. Grab the gas! Uh, here's a tire. I want that tire. Come on, buddy. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. All I want... That didn't quite work. I think we can grab it going down here. Yes, we can. Awesome sauce. Oh, screw that bus. Don't care. I'm just going to go this way. Ah, missed the tyre. And I don't know why the tyres are just floating around. Maybe they are uh, filled with helium, perhaps? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want you. No, 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 no. Oh, look at those tyres. What a bunch of bastards. Come on. Oh, I can't go too fast down slopes either. I keep forgetting about that. I'm, I'm too greedy. Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I not just going forward? The sensation of speed is pretty good in this game, even though it is kind of difficult initially to get used to what kind of speed you should be when you're doing what. But, you know, you learn it. Ah, there's gas hanging around here. And this was a really easy section, this. And I don't remember how far I got in the game, but I did keep playing it over the years, so yeah. Go, go, go! Oh yeah, it's pretty tight. Those hedgehogs are evil. Not sure what they're doing down in a cave. Maybe they're looking for worms? Oh, come on. Don't do that. That's a little bit annoying. Sometimes you turn around too quickly. Of course. Of course. Had to be a dead end. No, come on. Yeah, it's annoying when you turn. It really is, but hey, it's not no biggie. 
Ah, you filthy hedgehog. Come on. Uh, I'm gonna guess there's gas up there, but I'm just gonna ignore that and just carry on here. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, you... Mmm, I hate the hedgehogs. They're so pixel perfect at times. But I've got... No, I don't. I haven't got any more lives. Oh, damn. Okay, giant hedgehogs from hell. I hate you. Every single one of you. The scale of the game looks a bit strange. You also encounter other enemies, eventually, like flies and such, that are absolutely ginormous, so, hmm. Ah, crud. Do I need to go around? I think I do. Ah, uh, my poor gasoline tank. What do you expect for ten cents? Gasoline? Anyone know that reference? <laughs> it was a poorly imitated voice, I might add. Ah. Now it's getting complicated and I missed the gas. Ah. Or did I? I think I did, right? Or can I get it? Maybe I can. No, I can't. Oh, let's carry on. Let's see if we can find some more fuel further ahead here. Should we go up? Yeah, let's go up. No, let's, let's not do that. <laughs> I finally got gas. I think that should do the trick, right? Yep, and we grab some... Uh, a tyre as well. Or was it gas? I got... Sorry, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention there for a bit. I was busy trying not to get head-butted by a hedgehog. Oh, God, this dual hedgehogs. The worst. No. Oh, yeah, I was completely misjudging that. Flickering bunch of bastards. Yeah, that's also slightly annoying that they do flicker a fair amount, the hedgehogs. I mean, pretty much everything in the game flickers except for the uh, the backgrounds. Well, you know, it's a spectrum. I guess we can't get everything, right? Things are going surprisingly well, I must say. And every time I say that, of course, you know what happens, right? Yeah, the ambulance comes. The nice men in white coats comes and picks me up. <laughs> I don't care about points. I care about meeting the Ghost Rider. He's pretty awesome, but he does cheat. He will only just basically go straight through a level. He doesn't care about collision detection, that guy. I was a bit unimpressed by his lack of honor. Yeah, that worked. No, 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 no! no. Oh, whoo, that was... Just about to miss that. No, please. Go, go, go. Oh, I don't have to go back. At least I got a tire and some gas for the trouble. Oh, yeah, it's going surprisingly well. I think we may have found the Ghost Rider. Hey, dude. The race is on! And look at this cheesy bastard. He will just quite happily... Wait, what? Oh, I can't! Oh, I thought I could overtake him. That was not good. Now it's game over. It's future me here, and I didn't have enough time to record another attempt at the Ghost Rider, so I decided to just record it the day after using emulation, so you at least get to see what happens with the Ghost Rider. And as you can see here, he just happily drives through everything. <laughs> and with that, let's have a look at a couple of reviews before we end. Crash awarded the game an overall of 93%, and they wrote, All in all, this is one of the most enjoyable games I have played for a long while and I'm sure it's going to keep players entertained for hours. And they also commend the graphics and uh, the challenging gameplay. And of course the excellent value. I think this was only priced at £5.95 when it was released. Singular User awarded the game a Gilbert Factor of 7 out of 10 and it was a pretty short review and weirdly they didn't really comment about gameplay particularly much, but they did write when you crash, your rider will fly from his machine and skid to a halt on the road. While the animation is excellent, during those effects the crash sequence is a little too graphic, and some people might find it tasteless. 
So there's nothing tasteless in murdering aliens or soldiers or whatever in other games. It's just a weird thing to write, but hey, it was early days, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. Then I would have to say this game actually is still fun to play, even though compared to modern games, it feels a bit clunky. But it has a certain charm still, I must admit. So, hope you enjoy this quick peek at Willy. Thanks for watching and all that stuff. And as always, I hope to catch you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.